Question number 10, A says um, matrices A and B represents the um, transformation given below. Um, so A, 0, minus 1, 1, 0 represents an anticlockwise rotation of 90 degrees about the origin. B, um, 0, minus 1, minus 1, 0 represents a reflection in the straight line Y is equal to minus X. Um, determine the elements of the matrix C, which represents an anticlockwise rotation of 108, 90 degrees, fall about the origin, followed by a reflection in the line Y is equal to minus X. All right, so I think this is a, what you call a composite transformation. And I think that when you, from what I remember, when you're forming a composite transformation, the C is going to be the first, the last multiplied by the first. So the last transformation was reflection in Y is equal to minus X, which is zero minus one, minus one is zero, multiplied by the one first, which is zero minus one, one, zero. All right, so you use matrices multiplication and when you do, all right, we could go to the row by column. So it's zero times zero, which is zero, minus one times one, which is minus one. Zero times um, minus one, which is zero, minus one times zero, which is also zero. Bottom row left column, minus one times zero is zero, zero times one is zero. Minus one times minus one is positive one, Zero times zero is zero. So C seems to be minus one, zero here, zero here, and one here. All right, we're asked to describe geometrically the single transformation represented by C. All right, so this is something that you guys should know that um, C, this transformation here is C, which is minus one, zero, zero, one. What C does is that it um it changes the X, the sign of the X coordinate. So um, what C, if you multiply, let us say C by X, Y, it's going to become minus X, Y. And the transformation that does, does that is a reflection in the Y axis. So C, is a reflection in the y-axis. All right. So C is a reflection in the y-axis. All right, let's continue. We are told that a transformation T is defined by the following two by two matrix where K is a constant, and we are told that T maps um, 2, 3 onto 8, 15. Determine the value of K. So if T maps 2, 3 into, to, to 8, 15, it means if I multiply T, which is 1, 2, K minus 1 by the point 2, 3, I'm going to get 8, 15. So let's multiply row by a column. Um, when we multiply, we get what? 1 times 2 is 2. Three, 2 times 3 is 6. Top row. Bottom, um, k times 2 is 2k. Minus 1 times 3 is minus 3. And this is equal to 8, 15. So we can clearly see eight is at the top, so we don't have to worry about the eight. At the bottom, 2K minus three is supposed to equal to 15. 2K minus three is equal to 15. So we have 2K is equal to 15 plus three. 2K is equal to 18. And if you divide both sides by two, we're gonna get that K is equal to nine. K is equal to nine, moving on. C says the following 
vectors are defined as shown below. Double X is five minus one, X Y minus three, seven, Z Y is zero, is eight minus seven. Determine the vector, determine, um, determine other, sorry, determine each of the following. A, a vector other than five minus one that is parallel to double X. So W X. Here's what we know about parallel vectors. When two vectors are parallel, they are scalar multiples of the same what base vector. So some other arbitrary vector, I could call it anything. Let's call it A, which could be like two, five minus one, which is, um, let's say that this is what, 10 minus two, or just two times five minus one is parallel to five minus one. So not just two, any number that you multiply five minus y minus one by is going to give you a vector that is parallel to five minus one. So three, five minus one is also parallel to it. Minus two, five minus one is also parallel to it. When two vectors are parallel, they are scalar multiples of the same base vector. We're asked to find um, um, y, sorry, wy. Well, I can say that wy using the triangle of vectors is equal to wx plus xy. That's a triangle of vectors. Where is WX? WX is five minus one plus XY, which is minus three, seven. So this is five minus three plus minus three is minus three minus one plus seven. So it looks like WY is the vector two, six. Um, at least I think WY plus XY. It's WY, WY plus XY. All right, I think that's correct. And we need to find XZ. Now, XZ using the triangle of vector is XY plus YZ. XY, we have minus 3, 7. YZ, do we have YZ? YZ is minus um, ZY. So it should be minus 8, minus 7. So it's minus eight minus seven. All right, so if you want, you could say plus minus, which is still just minus. So, all right. So plus minus eight minus seven. So this is minus three, seven, minus eight, minus seven. This is minus three, minus eight, seven, plus seven. Minus minus is plus. So what we have is minus 11 and 14. We have minus 11, 14. And lastly, lastly, we need the magnitude of um, x, y. So in other words, we need the magnitude 
of x, y, which is minus three, seven. Now the magnitude of x, y is minus three square plus seven square, which is the square root of nine plus 49, which is the square root of 58, which is 7.62 units. The magnitude of XY is 7.62 units.